Our first tutorial is going to be how to upload a picture into a text box. This is handy for inserting pictures into a blog post or a text box on your member page. So we'll go to our member page. We will scroll down. I've provided several text boxes for you to add and edit information to. You have one here for profile information. This is where the answers to your sign-on questions will be. And below that is a blank text box that says add pictures and a description of your collection by editing this box. This is the box we're going to use for this tutorial, but all the text boxes are exactly the same. So top right hand corner you'll see an edit button, click there. You'll have a space at the top for the title of that text box. We're going to title this one My Collection. Again you can title it anything you want. Down in the body of your text box is where we're going to insert photographs and a little bit of text. Across the top, these are your tools for your, for your text box. It's basically just a text editor. Uh, you'll notice some of these bold, italic, uh, underline, your justification buttons. Very similar to a text editor I'm sure everyone's familiar with. You'll see this button right here. This is the one we're going to focus on for this tutorial. This is your insert image buddy button. The next button is for embedding videos. We'll get into that in, in another tutorial. For this tutorial, click on insert image and your upload box will appear. We're going to browse our hard drive for a photo. Click browse. We're going to select this file here. Click open. And what that does, we are uploading that picture to our servers. Once that is uploaded, you will see a link here. That is the location on our servers. We'll have the choice to justify our photo to the left, to the right, centered, or full. If you're uploading a picture larger than our text box, the program will automatically resize your picture and will fit the picture inside your text box which saves you a lot of time and trouble, trust me. Your padding button here is set to zero. This is the space around your picture. If you want your picture a little bit smaller, then you can add some padding around the edges, but for now we're going to leave that zero. We're going to justify this photo to the center of our text box. We're going to leave the link the same. Like I said, that's the link to your photo on our hard drive and the width is automatically resized to 540 pixels. If you want to make that smaller you can. You can type any number in there. We're going to click OK. You'll notice our picture appeared in the text box. We'll click Save. There you have it. Now if you were to click on this picture it would take you to your file on our servers and in its original size. So we'll do that. As you'll notice there is the original size picture and we will click our back button on our browser and take us back to our page. Now I'm going to show you a neat trick. This is for linking any item on the web. If you're wanting to link a photo or you want to take your visitors to your page to another website if you have your own website or if you want to take them to an article on another page another form you simply click on the photo and edit and where this link is instead of linking the file on our hard drive for your photo you just simply type in the address where you want your visitor to go we're going to use google.com as our example That's simply the URL address and click OK and save. So now when a visitor clicks on this picture instead of taking them to the actual file uploaded on our server it will take them to Google. It's a very handy feature. There's a lot of things you can do with that tool. I'll let you explore and see what you come up with on your own. 
If you want to add some text to this text box, you simply click Edit. You can click the HTML button. This is basically the HTML code for the photo we just uploaded along with the link. You can see right there is your link to google.com. We're going to add some text below the picture and we're going to describe this picture. Boeing 747. Click Save. You'll notice at the bottom of the text box there is your description for that photo. If we want to center that text we'll simply go to the top right hand corner, click the edit button again. You'll notice we come up in HTML mode. Click HTML again, it will take you back. Highlight your text. Center justify. Click save. There you have it. And that's going to wrap up this tutorial.